Welcome to the Minecraft world to which I've recently immigrated. Before I show you my house of glass, I ought to show you the house within the context of its landscape. Although my avatar has the power of flight in this virtual world, it's easiest to imagine that the aerial views have been obtained using a camera drone. However, let's stay on terra firma for a moment and view the house, in this case its rear, from a neighbouring farmstead. The elevated position of the single storey house is equally obvious from this vantage point. And now for the aerial shots. This high altitude shot reveals the essence of the site. High ground with extensive and uninterrupted views over the rugged terrain and the lakes below. Note the brick bordered access steps carved directly into the hillside. Vaguely reminiscent of Mayan architecture, perhaps? Dropping the drone in altitude a little gives me the chance to fly up and welcome you again. This time to an overview of the building itself and our first clear sight of the extensive use of glass. Notice the glass-sided rooftop pool with its associated green sun deck just to the left. Behind the pool you'll catch a sight of the external terrace which sits above the sun lounge's glass roof and is bordered by a pink glass safety barrier. I'd like to think that the pink colour comes from selenium or perhaps erbium doping but who knows in this virtual world. In the foreground is my location beacon, which is very useful for an avatar with a poor sense of direction. A distinctive yellow colour has been achieved using a glass filter. Again, in the real world, this colour of glass might be achieved by adding ferric iron, iron 3, but it could also be achieved using uranium. Swinging round to the other side, and ignoring the pool attendant, we see the main entrance at the top of the hillside Mayan steps. We also get a better view of the sun lounge from here, and the pink bordered terrace above it. Trusting in the mechanical properties of toughened glass is essential if one is to feel at all comfortable up there, but the views are amazing. From this angle, we also get our first views of the cantilevered toughened glass viewing platform, which projects out from the sun lounge and over the hillside and lake. Once again, those brave enough to step out of the sun lounge and onto the platform are rewarded with spectacular views. Landing now on the landscaped rock at the top of our Mayan steps, one may take another look at the scenery before entering the house itself, which remains in a distinctly minimalist state. More glass. This time in the form of a pair of internal screen walls in the otherwise open plan design. Immediately behind me is the clear glass screen between the spacious entrance lobby and the central living space. To the side of the lobby we see the recent addition of a study, complete with roaring open fire. This was added by my grandson. He obviously knows my tastes very well indeed. If we now move through into the central living area, you'll notice the second screen wall, this time in a smoky glass, beyond which is the glass-roofed sun lounge, which itself leads one to the cantilevered viewing platform beyond. If we step out onto the platform and look back, we're rewarded with another view of the glass-rich minimalist interior. However, this house is all about the views and the way in which glass might serve that end. So, the cantilevered toughened glass viewing platform provides the ideal spot from which to say farewell. I hope you've enjoyed the tour.